I sat down on the first day of class, the first thing I noticed was this quote taped at the top of my computer screen. It was a quote by William Wordsworth, fill the paper with the breathings of your heart. When I sit down and there are no ideas coming through my mind on what to write, I look deep inside myself, deep in my heart to see what I'm feeling. Whatever I happen to be feeling is what guides my hand on the paper. Fill the paper with the breathings of your heart. Maybe you'll find yourself in the process. I know I have. I first read that passage on Wednesday. It's part of an essay on writing a young man named Kyle Penn for his high school creative writing final. For the final, the students create an anthology, which they publish via a print-on-demand service and donate to the school library. Each student must contribute a short story, a script, 15 poems, and an essay about their writing journey in the class. Kyle is a sophomore. He served as the editor-in-chief. The role usually goes to an underclassman because the seniors get out of school a week early. Kyle's a little too cool for school, but a good student. I like to think we would have been friends had I met him when I was 15 or 16, but he'd probably been a little too cool for me, too. <laughs> Erica is a senior. She's graduating tomorrow. Erica is this weird cross between a punk rocker with her purple hair shaved on the sides and gauges in her ears and Donna Reed. I think that if she ever saw herself the way others see her, she'd set the punker side down at the malt shop and tell it to clean up its act. <laughs> Erica had this to say about writing. I've seen a change in myself since I've been writing again. I notice that I spend more time thinking about things and analyzing my environment. Every time I pick up a book, I find myself noticing things I never noticed before. Stephanie's 15 and a sophomore. She was the quiet one of the bunch, but she has a wicked little sense of humor. She got an A in the class. A few months ago, she wrote, I was assigned to read a book on the craft of writing. The book I chose was Why I Write, which is a collaboration of different writers. I chose this book because I was trying to find the reason I loved writing, and I assumed that by reading this, I would become inspired to write for something other than pleasure, but nothing happened. All writing is, for me, pleasure. I love it, and that is the reason I continue. That's why she got an A. <laughs> Kyle, who I, hope to see, who I hope to see in journalism class as a senior, wrote the foreword to the book, too. We did this because it's our final, he wrote. The last big project we have in creative writing before we head off for the summer and enjoy our lives like we were never part of one another's. 20 kids who have no affiliation except to say, yeah, I did my final with him back in high school. All I can say as the editor in chief is that I love this book. I love this book like no other thing in my life. It is a child of the imagination, young and harmless, looking to be picked up and loved. As a teacher, I've succeeded in helping many of my students to love writing. And as I wrote in my application to essay for this program two years ago, I also succeeded in making myself jealous. I envied the opportunities I'd given my students and wanted them for myself. <laughs> At SNU, I found my way to those opportunities, and as Kyle said, maybe found myself in the process. SNU's grad program gave us the two things we need most as writers, permission to be selfish and peerage. When reality invaded our writing life, we had an army of deadlines, requirements, and homework to help push it away. We learned discipline and found out why the word dead kicks off the word deadline. <laughs> we became better writers by listening to our teachers and to each other. We formed a community. We whined, we argued, we wrote. For 18 years before I applied to SNU, I hadn't written a single piece of fiction I'd taken seriously. Now I have a book a dozen short stories, and a couple of publication presents, credits. I got what I wanted, but I've just gotten started. And I think all of today's graduates, to one degree or another, would say the same. So to the staff and the faculty, and to everyone else who supported and put up with us along the way, we offer our thanks. And for Diane, I have Kyle and Stephanie's email address if you'd like them. Thank you. I was living in a small ranching town in northwestern Colorado with my two sons. A friend brought a little book, knowing how much I enjoyed the West and enjoyed the sense of place. She says, I know you're going to love this author. I read the book, and then I went back and read it again, and again, and again. I highlighted it. I wrote notes in the margins. I added it to my